We cannot ignore that nine out of ten train services were at a standstill last Saturday, with further strikes planned tomorrow and this coming Saturday. While our priority, our overwhelming objective, is to grow our economy and tackle the rising cost of living, we also have to deal with rolling strike action. Strikes disrupt everyday life for everyone and slow down our prospects for growth. The more quickly we can resolve these disputes, the sooner all our efforts can be spent on getting our economy motoring at full speed. Despite soaring international energy prices, the war in Ukraine and the glo continued global impact of COVID, we must, of course, take that necessary action to help our families and our businesses. We can only do this through growth and having the infrastructure that makes this possible. We want to transform the rail industry to make it sustainable for the next 100 years. So the very last thing that the country needs right now is more damaging industrial disputes.